I wonder if you ever feel depressed. Statistics show that 21% of people in the UK have experienced some form of depression in the past year. The same survey suggests that it's particularly prevalent amongst young women. Now, I could be wrong, but I would guess that depression is just as big an issue amongst young men, the difference being that they don't tend to talk about it quite so openly. Sadly, as a result of that, in 2020, men accounted for 70% of the 805 suicides recorded in Scotland. Every single one of them a real tragedy. I'm well aware that the issues causing depression are extremely complex, and so I'm certainly not claiming that I have all the answers in this two-minute video. Far from it. But the Bible does speak a fair bit about the subject of depression, and it most certainly doesn't downplay the seriousness of it. In fact, many of the heroes we read about in the Bible, men like Elijah, David, Jonah, Job, and Jeremiah, experienced terrible episodes of depression in their lives. God didn't write these people off. No, he showed tremendous care and compassion towards them. He gave help and he offered hope to those who were drowning in a sea of depression. In Psalm 103, David, who at times himself sank into terrible depths of despair, speaks about God's compassion and says, For he knows how weak we are. He remembers we are only dust. You see, the God who created us understands us better than we even understand ourselves at times. And he knows exactly how you're feeling right now. Again, David writes from personal experience in Psalm 34 that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. So in our times of despair and depression, we can turn to him. We can trust in him and we can talk to him, confident that he cares, sure that he sympathises and certain that he understands. 1 Peter chapter 5 says, You can give all your worries and cares to God because he cares for you. So if you're in a dark place right now, I would encourage you to reach out and try to speak to someone about it. A friend, a family member or one of the many support groups available today. But let me also encourage you to turn to God and tell him exactly how you're feeling. Thanks again for watching this video. Please feel free to get in touch if you want to chat or if there's any other way that we can help you. But for now, take care and God bless.